So Alison needs to bake cookies for her son's um, crash. Um, she finds her recipe. Um, she finds a recipe for cookies. She needs to calculate the volume of one cookie so that she knows what size um, container she can use, right? So she just needs for one cookie. Now, each cookie is shaped like a flat cylinder. So we need to make sure that we have um, some form of a cylinder. So um, she measures a cookie and finds that it has this dimensions. The diameter of a cookie is given and the height. So when they give me when they give me that, I draw an example, right? Yes. And I put a dot in the middle and I draw the diameter from the left to the right. Yes. Which is 80. So half of that would be the radius, which is 40. Correct. So this is your cookie. But from here to here and then, is 80, then you have 40, right? Yeah. So where would the height be? Would the height be considered as from left to right or from top to bottom? Okay, let's think of a cookie. A cookie will be um, thick. It, it's not going to be just a flat thing. It's, it will be having some form of um, thickness, right? Somewhere here. Oh, I see now, yeah. Okay, so that will be the height of a cookie. That's why we say a flat cookie. Okay. So okay. that's what we are having. So we have that um, thickness of a cookie. So that will also participate in occupying some space, right, in our container. So that's what we have. So the thickness is seven. seven. Yes. So this is um, our seven, seven millimeters. Luckily, everything is in the same units, so we don't have to stress about the units. Then what do we have to calculate? The volume of um of one biscuit, no. right? Yeah. So volume. So we've got the area. Remember when we were doing uh, dealing with the cylinder, we had something like this. Then we say that the base area is the pi r squared. Then the height is h. So calculating volume from there, we just need to have pi r squared then h. But now we have made this yeah. a flat cookie, so the height will be representing what? The 7 millimeters. And we can easily calculate um, our volume from that, where we have, um, what's pi? Approximate to... Um, 3.14. Okay. Then our radius is 40 squared. Then our our height is seven milli um, meters. Then from here we can we can easily say that um, we've got all of this in our calculation. So we are going to have three point one four, then forty squared. Then uh, we also have seven. So you wouldn't put you won't put three point one four. Are we also getting the same answer? Yes, three point one four times forty squared, then times seven, then we get thirty five thousand one hundred and sixty eight. Now here's the thing: how many millimeters do we have here multiplying? We have two of them. Then here we have how many? We have two. We have two here, and here we have one, right? Multiplying. So in total, we have three. That's why we have millimeter cubed. Okay. And is this right? Then I think the mind the gap made a mistake here. 